What is up, everybody? We've got some Grizzly Soul Tie action for you. We're going to play first. So we've got Grim Flayer, Snapcaster, Buff Decay. Hey, you too, man. Look to you too. Well, I didn't type it good, but he gets the message. Yeah, we're going to keep on this one. Definitely going to keep. Um, let's see. So we get Grim Flayer, Snapcaster, Buff Decay, Thought Scour. So we can get, hopefully, we'll have a lane in the graveyard, instant in the graveyard from Thought Scour. We can get on Delirium pretty quick, depending on what we uh, mill into with Thought Scour. But yeah, this is a soul, Grizzly Soul Tie, if you're not familiar. This is kind of, um, I don't think how to describe it. It's kind of like Soul Tide Delver without the Delver. A little more of a graveyard focus. So I like playing Soul Tide and I like playing graveyards and uh, graveyard base decks. And so I feel at home in this deck. Um, you know, and this is a starting point. So if, if you're seeing this video for the first time, you know, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. You know, I do want to keep the deck at its core as a, uh, oh, we've got some Goblin, Gerblin action. Okay, so we're going to crack this polluted delta, get into a watery grave, shock that in. Go into Thought Scour Rush really quick. Ooh, oh, beautiful. Hit a Frexion Revoker. So we definitely have, uh, we've got a 5-6 Tomergoyf off of that Thought Scour. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, so um, I'm tempted to get down. Well, we can get it in this member too. This is pretty nice. So let's get down polluted delta. Do we want to shock in a breeding pool, get down Tarmogoyf? Yeah, I actually don't mind doing that. Well, do we, when we get into Grim Flare, we can get into some trample action. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get down Grim Flare. He'll be a 4 4. We've got uh, five card tops in the graveyard. Also, on a side note, guys, I do have this deck list up on mtgotraders.com, so if you want to check it out, head over there. I also have a link down in the description, so. If, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> actually, I'm going to mute the mic real quick. Sorry about that. I was trying to take a breath and I uh, kind of breathed in the wrong windpipe right there. But uh, but yeah, you know, check it out. I've got it up on the website, MTGO Traders. Uh, but yeah, I've been really happy with this deck. I, um, you know, it's fun turning on Delirium. It's fun making Tarmogoyf really big. Um, it feels pretty good, man. Because I desperately wanted to have a Sultai aggro or kind of mid-range deck to play in Modern. And uh, I had a Sultai Delver deck. And it just... Sultai Delver, man, it is just the best way to put Sultai Delver is it is always the bridesmaid. It's never the bride. Um, you miss out on having the cheap one mana removal and like path and lightning bolt, and then at the same time you don't have lightning bolt to close the game out. So I cannot tell you how many times where if you just had a lightning bolt you can close the game out, but since you're running Sultai, I mean you could splash do four color Delver, but um, you know, if you're trying to stick to an actual Soul Tide Delver deck. It's just, man, you get you really got to earn your win. There's no uh, there's no cheap wins on this one. Okay, so now we can actually swing in, get a Grim Flayer activation, trigger ability, and we do have Snapcaster. We've got Dismember. I'm trying to figure out if we want a Grizzly Salvage right now, because what well, we can put a creature on top. And then grab it with Grizzly Salvage. Yeah, let's go and do that. Maybe we can get into land too. He's got five cards in hand though, but so Goblins is pretty explosive sometimes. Yeah, let's we'll go ahead and swing in. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Swing in because he has trample. We're gonna get three, get the Grim Flayer trigger. And then we'll probably, yeah, I'm going to crack this polluted delta that way we don't have to shuffle it around. And uh, we don't need anything, so we'll just get a breeding pool, put in the play tapped. That way we have a clean little trigger right here. <sighs> Grim Flare, yeah, I like another Grim Flare. So let's go, let's put Gataxian Probe into the graveyard, Thought Scour, click OK, then put Grim Flare on top. And then we can get down Tarmogoyf to block. Yeah, so um, as I was building this deck, I didn't have Frexing or Revoker in here for a long time. And I'd, I'd have a trouble getting Delirium online for Grim Flayer. And not necessarily trouble, but I couldn't get it activated as quick, quickly as I wanted to. So simply putting Frexing or Revoker in here has made a huge difference. You know, it feels Tarmogoyf because it's an artifact creature. But at the same time, um, it's actually pretty good, you know. 
uh, with them banning Splinter Twin, uh, a lot of the control decks are going to Hiri Control, whether it's Mardu or Jeskai. And so uh, getting, you know, th they may have an answer for Fracturing Revoker, but, uh, you know, put in some work, man. You can play it naming uh, Nahiri, or if you're playing against Affinity, you can put it on the, um, drawing a blank now, but you know how many games I've lost to that artifact. Yeah, what is it? Cranial Plating, there we go, Cranial Plating. Yeah, I've seen it enough to know the name. So he's got four cards in hand with two mana up. If he doesn't really have like a real big alpha swing right now, I feel pretty good. Now he does have Mog Fanatic. He can sack it, deal one damage. So if he gets down another red creature, it'll get plus one. So we do have to watch out for the Mog Sack coming on Tarmogoyf. We'll probably block whatever he's got going on. <laughs> Man, I just I can't help but laugh every time Goblin Grenade gets cast. It doesn't matter if it's modern or commander. It just uh <laughs> It always makes me laugh, man. It's just such a I don't know, I love it. It's such a good goblin card. <laughs> okay. So he's gonna be able to get he's got one more, maybe he's getting a creature down. Now, we do have Grim Flayer on top, so we're not drawing a third land, and we do, we'll do we be able to dismember. It'll be a little pricey dismember, but uh, at least we'll have two Grim Flayers up to block next turn. He's getting it for five right now. It's going to drop us down to eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh, man, that, this is why, uh, I don't know, I, I just like playing Magic, because, you know, we got Tarmogoyf down, then we get Goblin, Goblin Grenaded. <laughs> I love magic sometimes. Okay, so we got the Grim Flare coming in hot. Uh, let's go ahead and get down. Uh, go ahead and get down Grim Flare. And now we're just kind of going to be. We're at eight life right now. We, you know, a Goblin Grenade can be uh, its creature or player. So uh, as far as right now goes, what we're probably going to do is just going to stick back on blocking duty. Uh, we do have Grizzly Salvage. So if we draw into another land, we can pop Grizzly Salvage and get down another creature. And we also have Snapcaster. Nothing really in the graveyard, but if we get to spots where we dismember, we can uh, definitely cast up a Snapcaster coming out of the graveyard. But yeah, this is, uh, hopefully we can hold him at bay right now. Now he's down to one card in hand. I do have Golgari Charm in the sideboard, so I'll definitely, definitely be bringing it in. It's uh, one of my favorite cards to cast in modern, especially when you're playing against tokens. <laughs> Man, it just feels so good. All creatures get minus one, minus one. Okay, so he's not swinging in. I feel really good about whatever that one card in his hand is. So see if we hit a land. Getaxi and Probe. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I want to be super aggressive with that one. Uh, let's go for a... Let's go for Grizzly Salvage right now. Well, we can get Taxi and Probe, and we'll have a Rep Decay on any type of shenanigans that he gets into. So he'll be able to swing in. And say, well, he, he'll probably play, pay the Echo on that. So he can swing in for five, coming in, drop us down to we'll block two. He'll get in for three, put us down to five. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Taxi and Probe right now, see what he's working, see what he's got cooking in the kitchen. I'm not going to pay two life right now. He's got a mountain. Okay. Oh, get into another. Let's get, get Misty down. And then we can Abrupt Decay, Dismember, or Grizzly Salvage on our opponent's turn. So we're just going to hold off right now. And if we want to, we can then even flash into Snapcaster and block on one of his goblins. So he does have a mountain in his hand. And let's see if he pays the Echo. I, I, I bet he pretty... Pr oh, he doesn't. Okay. Gets into 1-1 one, one Goblin. So if he doesn't get down something that just gets a little bit crazy right now, then... Ooh, Goblin Guide. Okay. Now he can't swing it. We're looking at 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. He can swing it for 8 right now. But I don't think... Yeah, he doesn't swing it. Okay, so we're going to be able to Grizzly Salvage now. And I'm going to go ahead and crack that Misty before we pop this Grizzly Salvage. So we'll crack this. We'll go down to seven. Just gotta stay out of goblin grenade range. That's the key right now. And we have two black sources. Let's go ahead and grab um grab an overgrown tomb. 
We want to get in a little bit of green action. Don't want to pay two. Oh, dang it, I clicked OK. Sorry about that. I meant to Grizzly Salvage right there. Dang it. Got a little trigger happy on the F2 button. Okay, so now the game plan is to Grizzly Salvage again. We can even double Grizzly Salvage. Cool, man. He plays our opponent, pay, plays uh, Jund in uh, Legacy. Good for him. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that, that click right there, guys. Sometimes uh, I have my hotkey set up. Oh, dang it. Hmm. And somehow I accidentally hit F6. Okay. <laughs> I promise, guys. We're going to pop this Grizzly Salvage. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm so sorry about that. He was talking to me, and I didn't realize I hit F6 as the chat went up. Yeah, so we're definitely going to grizzly sal double Grizzly Salvage. Yeah, sorry, my, my opponent. You know, I try and engage. One of the things that you miss out on Magic Online is the uh, chatting with people. Okay. He gets into some Bushwhacker action. But yeah, so like, when you, you have a chatty opponent, you know, I like to engage them just because, you know, you don't talk to anybody for three hours when you play Magic sometimes. But, uh, yeah, we could have popped two double Grizzly Salvages right there. <laughs> so we'll have to make up for it, because he gets into a uh, Goblin Bushwhacker. Okay, so how do we want to do this? See what he swings in with. Got the Goblin Guide Trigger. Abrupt Decay. Okay. So let's go ahead and go Abrupt Decay on the Goblin Guide. Let's go Black Green. Then he's getting... We'll, we can only block on two, so he'll still be getting in for eight. And if we dismember on one of them, we'll have to pay one life. We'll drop us down to five, which will leave three coming in for six. We can flash in Snapcaster. You know, yeah, if we flash in Snapcaster, he's only going to get in for six. Yeah, and then we can get it, do some uh, dismember next turn. Okay. So we flash in Snapcaster. Let's go to Blockers. Block on the Foundry, right there, Snapcaster, right there, and you'll be getting it for six. Okay. And go down to one. And then we can Grizzly Salvage and hopefully hit a creature. Or we have an Abrupt Decay. Okay, so, yeah, Abrupt Decay was on top. So, once again, we're just going to hold off, let him swing in this time. We'll have an Abrupt, abrupt Decay on one of them, take care of the Goblin Tokens. And then hopefully we don't, uh, don't die to a, uh, a goblin grenade. Okay, so he's not coming in hot. Let's go ahead and let's get this double grizzly salvage out of the way. The one that I've been trying to do for so long. Sorry, guys. I do apologize about those, those misplays earlier. So that just happens when you're playing online sometimes. I don't definitely don't want Dark Confidant. Um, let's put the Overgrown Tomb into our hand because I don't want to pay a life to... Sh <laughs> to activate that one. And let's go Grizzly Salvage again. See if we can't hit another creature. And Grim Flayer. We got full house. Well, not full house. Yeah, full house. Grim Flayer is over uh, Dismembers. Okay. So let's get down Swamp. And I might go and swing in with one of them. Well, we have a Abrupt Decay to block something. They get plus two, plus two. And you have the Hasty Goblin. Yeah, let's wait. We can pick one of the Goblins off and then start swinging in right now. If he gets into some type of Hasty Goblin, I'd really like having a Brept Decay to stop it. And that way we can block across the board with Grim Flayer. It's a little cautious, but uh, kind of got to do what we got to do. And he might be flooding out. 
And so let's go ahead and go for a uh, let's go for a dismember on goblin. Let's go black, black, and then colorless. And once again, okay, so let's get down the overgrown tomb. We'll swing in for one. And once again, this is me being overly cautious right now. We could swing in for two and have Rebrep Decay, but in case he gets into a hasty creature, uh, we're just going to swing in right now. That way we have enough blockers. So coming in for four, dropping down to 12, we're going to get the Grim Flayer trigger. And we're looking for some creatures. Uh, we're looking for Tarmogoyf, actually. So let's put Dark Confidant in the graveyard. Click OK, because I do like Abrupt Decay right now. So let's go Abrupt Decay on top, and then Tarmogoyf. And then we also have Abrupt Decay and Dismember. So, okay, I like that. Yeah, because we'll be able to if we uh, Abrupt Decay and Dismember on his Goblins, we'll be able to swing in for Lethal next turn. Yeah, I like that. So it depends on what he gets into. Now, if he rips a goblin guide right here, <laughs> he's got me. Sc oh, okay, Whew, man, that scared me. Scared me for a second. All right, so he's coming in hot right now. So lead his uh, whenever these two other creatures attack, you. Gain first strike and trample can't be blocked by creature tokens. Okay. So let's go for an abrupt decay on the Legion. Go for a dismember on the Goblin. Because that way, if he does have, um, well, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So we go black, black, and then one. In Okay, so he scoops it up. <laughs> Sorry about those double grizzly salvages right there, man. Sometimes it's real easy. I, I have hotkeys set up on my keyboard, so sometimes it's pretty easy to uh, accidentally double-click something really quick. Okay, so let's definitely bring it in. Go Gary Charm. Now, is there anything else we want to bring in? No? You know, I like the spell pierce for um, the goblin grenade. We could bring in the gate, but definitely going to cut the dark confidence right now. Yeah, kind of a little live, a little close on life total. And let's go for some scavenging ooze too. I don't mind bringing that in. And let's cut one thought scour because yeah, I like having friction revoker because get to get into some quick delirium, and then some yeah, I like that. All right, on to game two. I always like it when our opponents. All right, let's do this. Okay, so opening hand, we've got Revoker, uh, we've got Overgrown Tomb, Abrupt Decay, Grizzly Salvage. Yeah, that way, if... Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep, because we have Grizzly Salvage, Abrupt Decay, and then uh, if we chump block with the Frexion and Revoker, that's going to turn on Delirium pretty quick, especially if we get into a fetch land. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's go and get down Overgrown Tomb. We're just going to put it in the play tap right now. I don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, and then we'll probably go ahead and shock it and get down Frexion and Revoker next turn. And what what do we want to name? We'll have to name something, because I don't think he really has any activated <laughs> abilities in that deck. But we'll name something. We'll name Nahiri. Maybe he's got a Nahiri transformational sideboard in there. Alright, so he's coming in hot for three right now. Death Shadow. Okay, that goes perfect with uh, an aggressive deck. So let's go and shock this Overgrown Tomb in. Now we can be pretty aggressive. Let's get Frexian uh, Revoker down. And we'll name Nahiri. Maybe this Goblin deck has a uh, <laughs> transformational sideboard. Nahiri the Hardbringer. Yeah, I, I, I've played against Goblins before, and maybe I'm missing something, but I don't really think they have an activated ability. Okay, so we'll be swinging the next turn, we'll chump block on Frexion. Yeah, you know, we could have named, like, Relic of Virginitus, but we're just using it as a chump blocker right now, so... It's 
want it in the graveyard. So we'll name Frexen. We'll name like Relic with uh, Frexen Revoker. I think that would be about the only thing they'd probably bring in that would uh, cause us a little bit of an issue. But even then, you know, we don't even have Tarmogoyf in our hand right now. But I enjoy playing against goblins. It's um, I very much like for tribe decks to exist in uh, in modern. I think it's really cool. Like I'm glad Merfolk is doing pretty good. It, it's a pretty solid deck right there. Uh, you know I like playing against Merfolk, and so to see elves doing good and like getting a little bit of goblin action. The only thing we need I, I need to build a zombie deck. See if I can't come up with something for that. I think that'd be pretty good. Okay, so we can get down. Get down Death Shadow. He's going to be a one-one. Um, I don't think we have to worry about Lightning Bolt. He's got the, well. He's got three cards in hand. Let's go and get down Frexian Revoker, and we'll name Relic, and then now if he swings in next turn, he's going to drop us down to nine. We'll have a four-four Death Shadow. Yeah, if we're going to Grizzly Salvage next turn, maybe get into the lane or something, I'll go and get down Death Shadow. You know, if he's got some removal, he's got it. Okay. And we could get to the spot where we just let him swing in to build the Death Shadow up and be like a little chump blocker. Sorry for that clanking. I drink tea when I'm playing Magic, so I'm just... Changing my tea mugs out. <laughs> okay, so it gets down the Legion Loyalist. Coming in hot. Coming in hot with the team. Yeah, I'll go and block with the Frexion Revoker. Probably on the uh, Foundry Street, because he gets, <clears throat> he gets pretty crazy when you get a bunch of goblins out there. But it does have First Strike, though. So he's coming in right now. One, two, three, four, five. Drop us down to seven. A nice little death shadow. Yeah, let's go. I'll go for that. Because then we can we can abrupt decay the uh, Legion Loyalist next turn before he swings in, and then we can block next turn with the Frexian Revoker. Now we got a six-six uh, death shadow just out of Goblin Grenade range. <laughs> that that was my main concern is I didn't want to get Goblin Grenaded on our death shadow. Okay, so he passes the turn. Catacombs, I'll take that. Um, yeah, we'll go and hold off right now. We could swing in, but I like having Death Shadow as a blocker. We'll abrupt decay on the Legion before he gets the uh, Battalion trigger. And then we can stop two of his attackers. If we need to, we can crack the Catacombs for a spell period. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that. Yeah, we need to do it before he gets the Battalion trigger, though. Reckless bush Bushwhacker, okay. But he didn't do the uh, surge cost. Okay, so he must have just... Maybe he has dead in his hand? Because he didn't get the surge cost. So let's go and blow up the uh, Legion Loyalist to take care of that first strike. Okay. So now he can swing in. I think we're still going to block Frexian Revoker on the Foundry Street, and then we can block Death Shadow on the Reckless Bushwhacker, because it's a 2-1. And that'll leave him with two Goblin Tokens. Yeah, I'll make that trade. Let's go Frexian Revoker, Death Shadow, coming in for two, drops down to five. And now we're firmly in Goblin Grenade range. And if this is Goblin Grenade... <laughs> yeah, okay, we're, we're cracking this Catacombs. We're getting that Spell Pierce going. <laughs> we're going to get a little low, but uh, I'll take it. <laughs> spell Pierce. Spell Pierce and a Goblin Grenade. <laughs> oh, man. Just like we drew it up. All right, so now we are on... Um, we can Grizzly Salvage, and hopefully if we hit another 2-drop, we can swing him a Death Shadow. Well, we may not, you know, if he gets into a hasty-type creature. Okay, 
Abrupt Decay. Let's go ahead and Grizzly Salvage. See if we can't get out another creature. Ooh, miss on that one. Uh, probably gonna grab a forest because I don't wanna. We don't need his. Well, we can grab a breeding pool. Let's just grab a forest. We're okay on another mana. Get down the forest. That way we still have a breath decay and we can thought scour. And I may go and thought scour right now. Get into Tarmogoyf. Okay. Just in case, just in case he's got Goblin Grenade in his hand, and it's part of the activation cost, I'm going to go ahead and abrupt decay this Goblin, because I don't want to lose to Goblin Grenade. And this is a little cautious. Um, if he's got some type of... Well, if he gets Legion Loyalist out... I, I don't know. I'm going to leave up Death Shadow right now. But well, we can go and swing in. Got one card in hand. No, I don't want to lose to something hasty. Something we're just going to hold off right now. Then we get down Tarmogoyf. That way we have a blocker with Tarmogoyf and we can swing in next turn with Death Shadow. Argument could have been made for swinging in, but uh, we're at two life. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure we got a blocker. Okay, so he's passing the turn. I feel pretty good about this. Now, if we get another creature... He would have played a goblin if it was... Ooh, scavenging ooze. I'll take that. So get down to Tarmogoyf. Actually, let's hold up. Swinging with the Death Shadow. Coming in hot for 11. And then let's follow up with a Tarmogoyf. And then a scavenging ooze with one green mana up. Oops. Helps if we tap for green. There we go. Okay, so now we've got two blockers. You know, even if his hand card in his hands like the um, reckless bushwhacker, he's going for like a surge cost or something like that. We should be able to close it out. Okay, well, <laughs> what are we tapping for? Legion loyalist. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to die right now. Okay, Reckless Bushwhacker. There we go. Okay. So let's go and exile. Exile his just Bushwhacker. Okay. And now we can. <laughs> no, we have three mana. Well, we can get it out of Goblin Grenade range. Get Taxing Probe. Okay. Now, how do we want to do this? If we swing in, he has to block. We didn't have to. We can at least exile three creatures. One, two, three. Scavenging Ease goes to 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, let's go and get Taxing Probe. In an overgrown tomb. Okay, so if we swing in right now, we can still pump Scavenging Ooze. It'll have to block. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, because we'll have enough mana to uh, pump Scavenging Ooze. And we're going to gain some light. Yeah, we'll go and swing in. Because he has to block on Death Shadow. And we can pump Scavenging Ooze up to gain some life, even if he gets into another hasty creature. Alright, so we got the Death Shadow block, Tarmogoyf coming in. Let's go ahead and get some, a little bit of exile going. Let's exile these Foundry. Let's go ahead and exile the Legion Loyalist. And the Mogwar Marshal. We're taking away from Death Shadow, but uh feel pretty good about it. Alright, let's so drop down to three. And then we'll just go ahead and leave Overgrown Tomb in our hand. That way he maybe he'll think we have a counterspell or something later on in the turn. 
Goblin Guide, okay. <laughs> He's not done yet. <laughs> Goblin Guide's here to save the day with his lantern. Okay, so he scoops it up. But yeah, I'll probably go ahead and post this video. I had a little nice little commentary flowing. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.